honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, there's Gary and there's Molly. But don't just sit there, treasures. Let's get busy. <gasps> well done, good boy. Yo, yo. All the sand. Yeah, look at that. Swirly. You can put anything you have written to your square. Get a wee shake. Well, we've got Molly and Gary, but someone's missing from home today. Ah, uh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? <laughs> It's Jack with Rudy. <laughs> hello there. Rudy, hello. Hi, Granny Murray. And Jack. Oh, I've been squeezing. <laughs> Come on, my darling. Hey, oh. me. Come hey. away. There he oh. is. It's not very nice outside. Oh, it certainly is a dull day, Granny Murray. Oh, I think it's going to rain. <gasps> I know. Why don't you all dress Claude up ready for the wet weather, eh, Jack? <laughs> oh, I'll take your aprons off. Hands up to the sky. Good girl. Right. <laughs> Come on up to my snug, Rudy. Oh, go on then, just for a moment, though. But we need a rain jacket. But what about you, Rudy? You're not dressed for the wet weather. Oh, don't worry about me, Granny Murray. My market stall's got a great waterproof roof to keep me dry. I'll be snug as a bug in a rug. <laughs> I'll tell you what I am worried about, though, is my customers being put off by the bad weather. Oh, that's true. Hey, I remember once, right, when it was snowing and I got Jack's toboggan and I filled it up with loads and loads of fruit and veg and then I dragged it round the streets to sell. Well, we'll not be doing any tobogganing today, but we are going to the art gallery to see the pictures. My favourites are the colourful, swirly paintings. I love the sculptures, especially the ones with all the bits sticking out of them everywhere. Me too. <gasps> it's the perfect outing for a wet day. Oh, look, Claude's dressed. <laughs> Whoa! Look at you! <laughs> well, do you know, I think Claude could do with a splash of colour to brighten up his grey day. So let's put a nice pink scarf round him. Oh, sounds very snazzy, Claude. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Well done, everyone. Dad. Oh, what's this? Have you got something for me? Oh. What is it? <gasps> Picture! <laughs> right. I'd best be off. So, I'll see you all later. Bye, Rudy. I'll see bye you bye. to the door. Bye. Bye bye. See you when you come back from to work. And remember, there's nothing like a splash of colour to cheer up a grey day. <laughs> Thanks, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. We'll be thinking of you. <laughs> Me too. Now, you keep a wee eye on Rudy and make sure he goes the right way to work. I'm on my way to work today I'm walking me shoes through the city views I'm stepping along and I'm swinging me arms And I'm singing my way through the city's charms I get in there, it's just so fine I so enjoy my walking time I always go the way I know but can you tell me the way I go? OK, which way? And do I go left now? Or do I go right? Which way is wrong now? And which way is right? Right! OK, that way, to the market. I'm on my way to work today. I'm going this way and that away. Hello, cobbles. Hello, train. Hello, Roadworks! Hello, Tram! Hello, Sweeper! Hello, Van! He's on his way to work today Looking this way and that away Hey! Do I go up now? Or do I go down? Which way's a smile now? And which way's a frown? Ah! What, this way? You told me the way to go Thank you, you showed me the way I know 
Great. I've arrived. So what next? <laughs> That's right. I need to get changed into my work clothes. All dressed and ready to go. Oh dear. Here comes the rain. Morning, Rudy. Hey, Raymond. How's it going? Mustn't grumble. I've got the day off from the trains to sort all the costumes under the arch. The place is a tip. Oh, well, at least you'll be in the dry. True. Cuppa. Eh, thanks. Go on then. I've got a few moments, thanks. Oh, those grapes look good. They, um, uh, taste even better. Go on then. I'll take a bunch. Coming right up. You know, we've got a costume under the arch with grapes all over it. Bright red it is from when we did a show called Carmen Miranda. Tina wore it, actually. You should have seen her dance. She swished and swirled about the stage. Cha-cha-cha, cha-cha-cha. Sounds fun. Oh, and you should see the gowns I made for the Christmas panto last year, especially the dress I wore as Widow Twanky. It had bright diamonds and teapots sewn all over it. Look behind you. Huh? No, Rudy, I was doing one of the lines from the show. Oh, right. Well, here you go. That'll be a pound, please. Thanks. Right. I must get on. OK. Nice picture, by the way. Bye-bye. Must be nine o'clock. I wonder what Jack's up to. I'd love to skip in River Sea Thing. River Sea Thing will by the sea. I love to skip in River Sea Thing. River Sea Thing, that's for me. Whoa, look at that. Look at the window! Look at the wee window, Jack! Whoa! And all the lovely stonework round there! Oh, Jack! I wish your dad had been able to come to the gallery with us! What are you doing in the market, Daddy? I hope Jack's having a good time at the art gallery. Right! Time to make a few bob. Ladies and gentlemen, it mightn't be dry, but come and buy, buy, buy. Hello, Rudy. Hey, Dr. Juno. Haven't seen you in a while. No Samson with you? No, he's having a snooze at home. I took him for a good run around the park before the rain started. So, what can I do for you? Well, it was such a miserable and grey day that I thought I'd make myself a nice hot vegetable soup. So, I'll have these carrots, a couple of potatoes, and a piece of ginger. Thanks, Doc. That'll be £2.20, please. OK. Here you go. Thank you, Rudy. I'm really looking forward to the soup. Oh, it sounds like it'll be lovely. Well, I'll bring you some when it's ready. Yes, please. It'll really keep me warm while I'm working in the cold. Bye, Rudy. Bye. That Doc Juno's a diamond, eh? Still, seems like the rain's easing up. Time to get down to business. And do be do be do, I make it look easy. What I do be do be do, and what I do is sell to you and you and you all of the veggies for a stew. But it's more than meets the eye. What I do for you as I buy and buy, while you still sleep, those fruit and veg to eat. And the flowers in the early hours So when wake up comes It's there for you The market stalls are there to view Oh the market, the market What a wonderful place oh, The hub of the people The smiles on each face oh, The market, the market Come look around the hustle, the bustle, the bubbles of sound The colours all chaotic and spilling about The smells all exotic, yeah, the market cries out Objects to excite you and draw you near The buying and the selling, cheap or dear The market, the market, I just love to be there The market is a wonderful place Oh, the rain didn't hold off for long. It's getting even heavier now. 
I don't think I'm going to do any more business today. I'm really starting to shiver. Ooh, it's only me, Rudy. Hello, Dr. Juno. You know I could really do with some of that soup of yours now. Oh. Here. I hope you like it. Oh, thanks. Oh, that is good soup. You can really taste the carrots. Are you busy today? Well, I was before, but I really think that the potatoes are so creamy. I really think that the rain has driven away my customers. Oh, the ginger really packs a punch. Well, I'm glad you like it. Here you go, Rudy. Oh, thanks, Dr. J. Well, I better get back to feed Samson. Love to Jack. Bye. I wonder how Jack is. Look at this one here. They've got all the cars, boys. They've got their lights on, and haven't they? And what's that? A taxi. It's a taxi. It might be Tina. Look, 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 I bet your Jack's looking at some great pictures with Granny Murray. Oh. oh no, the roof of the stall seems to be sagging. It must have collected a lot of rainwater. I'd best get rid of it before it breaks the canopy. Ah! I'm soaked through! Oh, what a day! Where did the time go? At seven o'clock, I dropped off Jack at Granny Murray's and they dressed up Claude in wet weather gear. At eight o'clock, I got to work and opened the store. At nine o'clock, Raymond passed by. I gave him some tea and he told me all about the theatre costumes stored in his arch. They sounded fantastic and Raymond told me they really added a splash of colour on a rainy day. At ten o'clock, it was still raining when Dr Juno bought lots of vegetables to make a tasty soup. At 11 o'clock and 12 o'clock I was working, but I didn't have any more customers because of the rain. I was really cold. Luckily, Dr. Juno brought me some of her delicious soup. It really warmed me up. At 1 o'clock I was still working and it was still raining. Then I noticed that the roof of my stall was full of rain, so I tried to sweep it away. And I got soaked to the skin. This is really turning out to be a grey, dreary, miserable day. Now remember, there's nothing like a splash of colour to cheer up a grey day. Of course, a splash of colour. And I know the perfect place to get a splash of colour and a change of clothes. Raymond's store of theatrical costumes under the arch. It's a race against time. Back in a minute. I've got to do it, I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time I like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song Do we think he's gonna do it? Do the job that needs to be done Will he know how to fix it? Will he finish what he has begun? He's as sure as we are friends, he will get there in the end Because he knows what he should do, I'm working through I'm gonna do it He's gonna do it I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime I'm gonna sort it He's gonna sort it I'm gonna do the job on time Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song I feel good -na 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 -na. <laughs> Thanks to you, Raymond, I've got the most colourful stall in all of the market and fantastic new dry clothes, just like Widow Twanky Looking this good on such a grey day has got to be good for business Ladies and gentlemen, come and get the finest fruit and veg you've ever tasted from the most colourful stall in all of Riversea Fingal Get your oranges, get your lemons, bunches of grapes for just one pound. Start bagging them up, Raimondo. Oh, I hope you're having as much fun with colours as I am, Jack. Wow, that's a great splash of red there. <laughs> I think our picture's just as good as some of the paintings in the gallery. Look at my man! 
Wow, that's brilliant! I think your daddy would love your man. Yes, but when is he going to be home? Soon, darling, very soon. I wish he was home now. I know, darling. Ready? Come on, we in. Hi, Granny Murray. Look who's here! <laughs> Hello, Jack. Oh. Come here. Oh, it sounds like someone's had a great time yes. with Granny Murray. <laughs> oh, we certainly have, haven't we? Oh, that's right. You say thank you. Oh, great boy. <laughs> oh, and thanks from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. There's nothing like a splash of colour to brighten up a grey day, and it helps save the day. Oh, well, well. Come on, you two. Come Don't on, mate. To be Rub off. Old. There you go. <laughs> Me too. Bye -bye. Hey, come on, Jack. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too. Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, bye bye, closing, wagging, dozing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, sticking up and wiping round, picking up and sitting down. <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed in wet weather clothes because it was such a grey, rainy day. When we walked to the art gallery, the shapes of the buildings we passed were amazing. Inside the art gallery, we saw all sorts of colourful, swirly paintings. And the costumes in some of the paintings were fantastic. After we'd seen the pictures, we painted some of our own with bright colours that would really make a splash on such a great day. Do you think a splash of colour would brighten up a grey day? <laughs> Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. <laughs>